uh, the July 9th, 2018 meeting of the uh, Legislative Matters Committee. Uh, Laura, please call the roll. Sure. Councilor Dwight. Here. Councilor Carney. Here. Councilor Klein. Here. And Councilor Murphy. Here. All right. Everybody's here. That's excellent. Um, first item, of course, is approval of minutes of the previous meeting, which I was not in attendance, so I'll accept a motion for, to approve the minutes. Move to approve. Second. Uh, discussion on the minutes? All those in favor of accepting, please say aye. 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 Any abstentions or anybody? Votes? Okay. okay. First item's up on the uh, one is an item that was deferred. This is the uh, item 18.097. It's a resolution to lower the voting age for uh, North Hampton Municipal Elections. This is referred by the Council on May 3rd, 2018. We actually have to move it out of here now based on our rules. Um, and actually, first I'll accept a motion and put it on the floor. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. I had a meeting with the mayor, the city solicitor, and the council president about this because, as you recall, or some of those, yeah, actually, I think every one of you recall that uh, one of the um, requirements of the charter is to do charter review on uh, and we're scheduled to do a charter review now and given the also unique circumstances the fact that Northampton has virtually no representation until January at the least so there's no one to even usher this through um, a petition that the suggestion was that we could accept this resolution and then whatever order that we generate would come in the context of the charter review. Does that make any sense? So that it would come as a package. And hopefully by then we'll have representation, which would be kind of exciting. It's kind of, it is kind of neat. <laughs> anyway, real departure for Massachusetts government, but we will actually have uh, hopefully a senator and a representative by January. So the hope is to incorporate all of them so that they aren't getting uh, proposed charter changes piecemeal. There are a number that are queued up actually already. One of them um, that we will be discussing later, uh, we'll, not today, however, um, are the, uh, the protocols for special elections, which seem to happen here as frequently as um, we don't have draws. What's that? As frequently as we don't have representation. Well, that's true too, <laughs> yes. So anyway, so, um, it's my hope that um, we refer this back to the council with a, a positive recommendation um, as it stands, which is essentially the Youth Commission and myself being one of the sponsors, petitioning the council to consider drafting um, uh, uh, essentially a petition, home rule petition for a charter change. So. Um, but it doesn't require, it doesn't mandate any particular action. So. So moved. Okay. So Positive this, recommendation. Okay. So. Second. Okay. Any further discussion on this item? Good show. Well, well, since it was from the Youth Commission to their whole thing was, I mean, obviously, the Youth Commission would be in favor of it since. Right. It enfranchises them with right with voting. <laughs> Did it like play out anywhere else or? It didn't. It was basically it came out. It came through Youth Commission to here. Oh, okay. And and uh, was uh, and then of course I didn't show up at the last meeting, which is why uh, you guys didn't discuss it because you wanted to wait until I was present and the sponsor to discuss it. Um, so essentially, it entreats us to at least consider. So there will be time for debate about the the merits. propriety and the merits of uh, granting um, youth votes starting at 16 for municipal elections, essentially was what this structure is, so. Any other discussion on this? Okay, all those in favor of moving this forward with a positive recommendation of the City Council, please say aye. Aye. Any sure. Followers? Okay, that's, that's kind of an aye. aye. <laughs> so, aye. by my count, aye. there's no major vote. Okay. Um, Next up is item 18.111. This is an ordinance relative to parking on Pleasant Street. This is referred by the council on June 7th, 
2018. It comes with a positive recommendation from um, Transportation Parking Commission of, and the chair is present here today, perhaps to help enlighten us in, in, in the discussion of this. Uh, I'll accept the motion put on the floor for consideration. So moved. Second. Okay. Councilor Nash, you want to speak to this actually? Sure. So uh, these uh, changes are basically to have us conform to what we've already done. So that the um, so we've done all of the the Pleasant Street improvements, where we've changed parking from in in, in different locations. We've added a uh, a cycle track that has eliminated parking in spots. Um, so this is, but all of that stuff is already done, and that um, so this is to put um, put us in compliance with what we did. This is to conform something that already exists once again that we we tend to do. That right, we're doing that. that. So if we build it, the ordinance will come. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> it's kind of, do it, ask, ask for forgiveness later type of uh, process. Um, there are some things I want to add uh, that um, on Pleasant Street on the eastern side, uh, uh, roughly across from Northampton Bicycle, from the diagrams there, you'll see that a lot of on-street parking was lost there. Mm -hmm. But actually, we now have on-street parking on Hockenham. It's basically been moved. There's about eight spaces over there now, and that um, and that was fit in uh, at, on the fly as the project was evolving. As I was getting complaints from tenants over there, and I called Wayne, and Wayne fitted in with the line painting. So we created eight more spaces over there that are in close proximity to those apartments. So those metered spaces. Those are nothing below. Holyoke is metered. This also resolves the the bagged meter in front of the watering hole. <laughs> nice sound. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. There was a meter that, in front of the watering hole that was bagged many years ago because there was poor visibility uh, for people crossing at that crosswalk. But the new improvements with the raised the crosswalk and everything, it, it makes it so that uh, visibility is much improved and that we, we can bring that space back. Come on. So, Jim, the, the last one in this little matrix, um, westerly, sorry, westerly, from Millbank Place to Hockenham Road, that's what you're talking about from um, Let me look at which. Northampton Bikes, I take it. So, these well, are all, these have been eliminated. There's the map, too. Yeah, so all along, so this was on-street parking from here to here, so that's that's been eliminated, but it's also, we've created spaces right around the corner, and this is where um, many of the uh, residents were complaining about losing these spaces. And this is the new spot right in front of the... Right, that's right hole, here. Because it's not here. Right. Now it's not, and here it is. And then we're eliminating the parts that are so essentially there are no storefronts right in that area because it's it's set back and it's the UPS store and the bank store right so that's right they here. haven't none of the shops there have actually lost their parking places per se because there are no shops there. they have a lot right well you know what's interesting is that um these this whole area there wasn't a lot of on-street parking and it seems that a lot of people are using it now um, it's it's actually kind of nice. So, um, and also the reason for moving it across the street was that um, that for this sidewalk, there's there's also a cycle track here, and that was to protect when you have parking, it protects the pedestrians and bike bicyclists on this side. Thanks for the clarification. Sure. The uh, parking inventory that's on Hockenham Road, is that a space-by-space space replacement of lost inventory? Uh, I don't think so. So there's a net loss, basically. There's probably a net loss of two to three spaces. Any other 
questions for Council Nash? Just okay. I have a quick follow up. So in that that parking lot that serves Northampton Bikes and the UPS store and so forth, are those considered private and associated just with the with um, what is it called Little Bank Place? Little Bank Place, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's private. Property. That's their property. So in other words, if someone wanted to go to the shops across the street or something no, like that, I would not be appropriate. To park I parked there and gone to the massage therapist across the street and got the hassle from Spirit. Is it Spirit there? Spirit Sound? Or? Uh, it's 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 it was. It was. It's gone. Oh, okay. I get, my concern is that if people come and expect to be able to park, if people come and expect to be able to park, they're not necessarily going to know that they just need to go around the corner to hop in. <laughs> That's like the teacher in the peanuts. <laughs> yeah, so I won't know. There's no signage probably that will say, but the spots you used to use. They're going to mark them though. Yeah. Paint I will say this for for the the residents that I'm representing. It's nice that I mean they're using those spots very regularly. So if you, if you go over there, um, you, you'll you'll see you know, five out of the eight or so spaces are regular being and regular. They're painted street spaces, right? So it's obvious they're right, they're painted, they're lined. But um, if the residents and also there tends to be plenty of on street I, I've only seen it full that stretch a few times. And a lot of times it's not during the work day. It it's later in the evening as people are parking and then walking into town. So people going to the the uh, the various establishments there for um, adult entertainment. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so the watering hole and what's the other one? So how are those people who used to park Hugo's. in those spots regularly, those hmm. spots that we're eliminating, how will they know that there's a new place to park now? I think it's your question. And in follow-up to what you said, if residents on Hockenham Road are using those spaces, there's more than a net loss in terms of number of spaces it sounds like they're going to be taken by the residents so customers of those places aren't going to have a place to park that they used to and the problem that they won't know that they can go around the corner to hop enough to find it necessarily well I, I haven't heard any complaints um, from anybody saying they've lost spaces hey, is the signage already up is it already it's all right this all this is all done yeah, you can go down there and park now <laughs> Yeah. Metal. There's, there's the not parking's much to been discuss. eliminated already, even before we. Um, okay, the parking's yeah. already been eliminated for. Yeah, it's all. It's, <laughs> what, yeah. two months? No, it's about, about a year now. <laughs> about a year, and you haven't heard any complaints? Okay. Yeah. The only complaints they had were from those tenants. And actually, um, the property owner across the street was really great during the construction, was offering spaces to tenants until. Uh, we had those uh, spaces available Which on Hockenham. Which tenants are you talking about? Uh, at the corner of Hockenham and Pleasant Street, there's some a, there's some um, apartment buildings where the landlord, uh, part of the standoff we have down there, we're getting into details, was that uh, people were parking o all over the front of the property, which is actually city property. So that uh, and so they were having a rough time with thinking they were the city was taking away their spaces when actually the landlord was allowing them to park on our city property and in response we were trying to figure out ways where they could get some on-street parking which resulted in those spaces on Hockenham. Yeah in the picture they're actually parked there. You can see right. them all over, all over there. Right. Yeah. I guess my only other, I mean, this is a done deal essentially, but I guess my other concern is just that we're going to see a large, is that going to be here for our talk about the um, voting? I don't know. You, uh, so you want to let them in? We're trying to figure out how to get in. That's why I was wondering. We already finished this item, if that's what he's here for. <laughs> so. Hello, you here for the meeting? Yeah, come on in. Yeah, come on Find a place to sit in the crowd and see what you get to. 
just we'll wait until the room settles down. To finish this point, <laughs> I'm um, sorry. Yes. Were Wayfinders about to, you know, build a large complex? That there was a lot of question when it was being considered. You know, are there going to be enough spots? And it's fairly adjacent to this area that we're talking about, and we're reducing spots. So it just feels like a little bit of a something that may kind of bubble up in the coming months, or once that building certainly is in place. I, I expect. I mean, the fact is that built into all this, of course, is adaptability. This is the gate. This is the gateway project. All ideas actually promote development, uh, particularly for businesses and such like. And I think that as the circumstances present themselves, it is my hope that the Transportation Department Commission will review it before they enact. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it's not on the- I wasn't even chair. I, I know it wasn't, I know it wasn't <laughs> on you. And in fact, it was on the project. But it, it's nice to actually get these rules and processes out of the way before they're enforced or put into place. And I mean, right now, we I, technically haven't been able to give tickets to any of these folks legally uh, who've been in violation of this. But the fact remains that we'll, we are going to have to adapt. There's all sorts of things. Uh, Nettie um, will. I would assume see a little bump in business, provided the state ever comes around. But um, there are other businesses that may come associated with that as they, as circumstances change. So, so yeah, no, it's not on you. I understand. Don't worry. I'm just it's saying that either. we we keep doing. We've done this over and over and over again. Council Murphy will test. Well, actually, any of you guys will testify. The fact that we we're frequently doing post facto law. <laughs> We're making law after the fact that the systems are already in place, which kind of makes me feel like we're a little silly. But so I feel like we're a lot silly. Yeah, no, I just want. But it's to been going on for a long time. Yeah, it's going on for a long time. It's about painting lines and things like that, and I feel better about that stuff. But just I don't know. I, I'm sure you had a robust discussion about this in, at the TPC, but not really because it was already <laughs> done. Year old. <laughs> It feels a little bit like there are considerations that maybe weren't taken into, um, just weren't. weren't so th there is, so for example, there is a, uh, uh, the Northampton Bicycle has complained about the line of cars. When, when those spaces are completely full on the western side of Pleasant Street, it's really difficult to pull out. And so they, they've they asked me to, you know, come up with some sort of solution. I've contacted Wayne. One of the ideas might be to eliminate that space. I wanted to first get this thing set. I didn't want to bring that in today and then start chopping off spaces. I, I felt like we just needed to accept the plan the way it is right now. And then, you know, if there's tweaking, we can talk about that. And the other thing too, I, I I don't I wasn't on council at the time, but I'm sure you guys approve this project going forward. Yes. In in all of its details, there's 20 page. It was a 20 page plan, and so um, so all of this was laid out at that point. Um, so it's it's not like yeah, we, there are going to be things to tweak possibly, but council has had a bite at the apple on this. As, as well as the TPC. Uh, any discussion uh, as far as the referral? All those in favor of referring this with a positive recommendation to uh, the council, please say aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> no, okay. It's, 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 uh, you can stick around, actually, Councilor. Yeah, well, these are going to be quick. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> well, th th these. Um, so the next items are uh, an ordinance to amend chapter 312-110 of the code book, and this is referred to the council, uh, to legislative matters and the transportation parking. Um, Laura's got a process note here, a recommendation from TPC uh, is still pending, so we, we can perhaps hear about that, but I'll accept the motion to put it up uh, for a recommendation. Actually, can we do it until we hear from TPC? Yeah, we're supposed to be the last body. Is, is this point of fact still pending? This issue? So, yes, <laughs> yes. Because the thing is that TPC sent it forward saying, here you go. It was a referral or and, and a then, referral and then it TPC. gets And so, it, in the, this is a case of in the big picture, the TPC and is 
council has already approved the mayor's parking plan right. and that's what this is it's that bits and that incremental implementation yep. of it so no the tpc has not met since this was referred so we haven't had a chance to review it. So we could continue this to the next meeting. I recommend you do that. <laughs> I will be continue until our next legislative meeting. Second on that motion. Second. Only and I will be working to figure out a time for legislative matters to meet this summer to address this one issue. Yeah. I mean TPC. 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 We're TPC. legislative. Yeah, TPC. 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 Yeah, don't don't be telling us when we can meet. <laughs> 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 All those in favor of continuing, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Um, I believe the same issue uh, stands for 18.125. It's an ordinance, uh, ordinance to amend Chapter 312-104 of the Code Book. Um, same deal. This was referred to legislative matters and the TPC, and I'm guessing circumstances stand. It's the exact same thing. I'll accept the motion. We'll to continue until the next all those in favor of continuing, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Wow, damn. Can I have one more thing? Yeah. Sure. Laura was great in helping me figure all of this stuff out because it was like in five different places and sent by the mayor and when did it go to TPC and so on. Laura is a saint. Yes. And we're working on trying to get her canonized. I don't know. Uh, it'll uh, probably take a resolution, but we're we got to get her legal. Oh, oh, parking space. <laughs> 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 so I think that we, we didn't have public comment when we opened, and we are um, now so we have a public. Yeah, we have somebody here. Did you did you want to speak to the legislative matters? Um, I'm not actually from Northampton. You don't have to. You, you could be know. any person who has any sentient being who's capable of transmitting <laughs> thought may speak in public comment. Now that we've totally terrified you at our okay. legislative process here, you can make comment. <laughs> or, um, yeah. You sure. can just step up at the podium and identify yourself for the record. Uh, do I have to sign up? No, no, no you can just, uh, okay. just say your name and you're doing it. Uh, well, my name is Aaron Nelson. I'm from 395 Bellingville Road, Ashfield. Um, and I'm here for the 16-year-old voting uh, legislation uh, because I was the one who introduced it up in Ashfield and helped it. You're the one. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Uh, and yeah, so I was just here. I was hoping maybe some other people would be here and I would get to um, see who was doing it down in Northampton, but maybe not. Maybe next time. Well, um, let me, I, you did miss the part where we discussed it. Part of uh -oh. it, it gets a little complicated because, well, I, I'm also the council liaison for the youth commission that, mm -hmm. and I'm also one of the sponsors of the resolution. So the resolution asked the council to um, consider drafting a home rule petition to the state legislature. Mm -hmm. And at the time when we were considering, when the, when the uh, Youth Commission advanced this, we had a state rep and we had a senator. Right. We don't. Right. We won't until January. And we're also required by our own charter to review the charter on a regular basis. It's now scheduled for review this year. And so the idea, what the council is likely to do is not draft a petition until one, we have representation to see it through, mm -hmm. and two, uh, combine it with other charter review questions. But the resolution has left this committee with a positive recommendation. Mm -hmm. We'll be at the council meeting this coming Thursday. If you want to come and speak of that, then that'd be great. And hopefully there'll be others. Uh, I don't know if you saw, uh, Ethan Grant wrote a piece in the Gazette recently about it. Um, mm -hmm. I would love to hear, I would like to get you together with the Northampton Youth Commission to talk about this because um, I think we would benefit by combining with other communities that are considering doing this. Yeah. There are a number of other places in Franklin County, are, are there? Uh, well, there was um, Shelburne and then Wendell. Right. And then there's Holyoke, they have a city councilor advising right. uh, it. And then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nelson. Uh, I think. Well, anyway, yes. I know there is some considering there. Yeah. Um, and then there was a community out in eastern Massachusetts that passed a resolution. Lowell uh, did Lowell a while ago, Lowell but Lowell yeah. No, it was Lowell. Uh, the current, the, the first, they've done twice. Once it went and was um, Secretary Galvin nixed. Mm -hmm. Um, then someone explained to him he actually didn't have the authority to do that in the home rule petition. So next one went to the legislature and it was supposed to go back to Lowell for a vote and I don't know whatever happened to it. Yeah, I don't think it passed the House no. in that case. 
um, which is, but somebody, um, a new town did it um, just for 17 year olds, I think, just this past year. Or in Massachusetts? Yeah, in Eastern Mass. I forget the town exactly, but I know that they did it. Um, and then R3 petitions all got shot down in, that, in uh, the house this time around. So you, so. you petition the house directly as a uh, youth group? Uh, no, so we, the towns did a home rule petition that then went to the house. Got you and that went to the house. Yeah. Um, what was the date you sent it to them? In May, I believe. Of this of, year? Of last year. Yeah. And then it worked, it worked its way through committee and then it um, got sent to study at the end of the regular legislation, legis legislative session. We clearly have to talk. We will talk because I think after March 24th, there's been some sentiment change about about it? about about youth voting. Okay. And youth empowerment. So. Well, that you go. Thank you so much for coming. I so appreciate much. you even even having the courage to speak out to this August group. <laughs> 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 and 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 as you said, you don't you don't have to be a resident to speak. Okay. So. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks so thank much. You. Um, we have no other business on. Agenda, unless you guys want to make some business. Only depending on what's referred and depending depending on transportation and parking, evidently. Yes. I will talk to the chair of this meeting to clarify all of that, so all right. so people can make well, the plans. It's our August meeting is incumbent upon whatever is rendered there, so. or no August meeting, which is a possibility too. Which I, I haven't heard any objections to that. So. In the absence of that, we have uh, there's no other new business, there's no other items. Uh, there's one other motion I'll accept. Move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor of returning, please say aye. Aye. Thank you all very much for that.